Adobe Premiere Pro vs. After Effects is a comparison a lot of people are curious about, but most videos totally overcomplicate it. If you've ever opened either one of these apps and just stared at the screen wondering where to even begin, you're not alone. The real question isn't just which one is better, it's which one is better for you. And that's what we're diving into today. Stick around till the end, because I'll break down the one thing that most people completely overlook when choosing between the two, and it can honestly save you hours of frustration. Plus, if you're new to Premiere Pro, there's a full beginner tutorial linked in the description to get you editing your first video with no confusion. Now, let's be real for a second. At first glance, Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects seem like they kind of do the same thing. They both edit videos, they both work within Adobe's ecosystem, and they both have that intimidating timeline at the bottom of the screen. But the truth is, these two tools serve very different purposes. Premiere Pro is made for editing full videos, cutting clips, trimming footage, organizing scenes, adding music, dialogue, and transitions. It's your storytelling tool. Whether you're putting together a YouTube vlog, a wedding video, or a short film, Premiere Pro is where that timeline comes alive. After Effects, on the other hand, is a beast when it comes to animation, motion graphics, and visual effects. If you've ever seen a slick animated title fly across the screen or text that looks like it's exploding into smoke, that's probably After Effects. It's all about creating visuals that wow your audience. Here's where people get tripped up. They think they need to choose one or the other. But in reality, Adobe designed these programs to work together. You edit the base video in Premiere Pro, then pull in specific clips to After Effects if you want to add something like a logo animation or a complex visual. It's kind of like building your house in Premiere and then decorating it with After Effects. That said, let's talk about the elephant in the room. After Effects has a steep learning curve. It's not the kind of software you just pick up and figure out. The interface isn't very intuitive at first, and if you've never worked with keyframes or expressions before, it can feel pretty overwhelming. But that's also what makes it powerful. Once you get the hang of it, you can create things that would be impossible in Premiere alone. Now Premiere Pro isn't exactly plug and play either, but it's much easier to grasp for beginners. The workflow feels a bit more natural. You drag clips into your timeline, cut out what you don't need, stack audio, and start building your video. And the cool thing is, even if you're just starting out, you can make something polished without needing to know every single tool right away. And again, if that sounds like where you're at, I've got a beginner tutorial linked in the description that walks you through the exact steps to editing your first video in Premiere Pro. In terms of performance, both programs can be heavy depending on what you're doing. If your system isn't built for creative work, you might run into some lag or slow render times. That's especially true with After Effects when you're stacking a bunch of effects or working in high resolution. But Adobe's been steadily improving performance over the years, and honestly, for most people just getting started, the lag isn't deal-breaking. It's just something to keep in mind. So is Adobe Premiere Pro better than After Effects? Or is After Effects worth learning if you already use Premiere Pro? Honestly, it's not about one being better, it's about knowing what each one is built for. If you want to edit a full video from start to finish, Premiere Pro is hands down the better choice. But if your goal is to create eye-catching animations or advanced effects that make your content pop, After Effects is where the magic happens. And here's the part most people miss. You don't have to master both right away. Start with Premiere Pro, build your editing skills, and once you're ready to level up your visuals, that's when you bring After Effects into the mix. So before you bounce out of this video, ask yourself, are you trying to tell a story or are you trying to create visual moments that blow people away? That one answer can guide you more than any spec sheet ever will. And like I mentioned earlier, if you're just starting out with Adobe Premiere Pro, make sure to check out the beginner tutorial in the description. It'll save you so much time and confusion and get you editing confidently from day one.